Hey, it's Jaime, founder of Echo Real Estate Advisors. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Okay, today I'm gonna show you how to link your Lion Desk account to your Facebook lead campaigns using Zapier. Lion Desk presently has a way to make a direct connection between itself and Facebook, but I found that that's not always the most dependable way of doing it. Ever since I've um, I've been toying back and forth between the two, I have just come to the realization that in order for me to feel good about the connection, I'll have to go through Zapier and not trust the direct connection between Lion Desk and Facebook. At least that's been my experience. If you've experienced something different, let me know. But today I'm gonna to show you how to make that direct connection. So if you're new to Facebook ads, just know that you're able to connect the lead campaign, the lead generation right here, you can connect that directly into your CRM. So which this CRM would be Lion Desk, the tutorial that we're going over today. So this is the only campaign that you're able to connect at this time. None of the, other, the others are going to apply. So that's important for you to know because I have received uh, calls, text, emails, inquiring about how to do the conversions, how to do the track, how traffic, engagement, and all the other types of campaigns. Well, the answer is you can't do that directly. So let's move forward. This is, I just wanted to make that distinction right off the bat. We're not gonna come back here the rest of the tutorial. I just wanted to make that distinction clear because there seems to be some confusion. So first we're gonna start off in the settings tab. Um, and this is where we're gonna be making a lot of the connections. You're gonna have the Lion Desk settings. We're gonna start here, and then we're gonna go over here to the lead distribution tab. The direct connection that I was referencing earlier was this, the Facebook settings directly into Facebook. And you can make that connection directly without you using Zapier. But again, in my experience, I have found that that will not be very dependable. It'll work for a few leads, but then the connection automatically disappears. I reached out to support several times, but the best that I can get back from them is that Facebook has updated. So regardless of, of whether that's right, wrong, or indifferent, it's just not dependable from my experience. So I'm gonna show you how to make the connection directly through Zapier. All right, so this is where we're gonna do the, the connections per se, but first, you're going to do a campaign. You would add a folder, at least this is how I like to do it. I like to add a folder, depending on the campaign that I'm creating, I like to put everything in this folder. I'll put the emails and the text in this one folder so I know where to draw upon. I'm not gonna show you how to do that right now. There are other videos in this channel that go specifically into that. I just wanna show you how the connection happens. First, you're gonna create your folder and then you're gonna create an email template all the emails that you want to go out, this is where you would craft your email copy right here. You save it in that folder that you would just have created. And then the same thing with the text template. You would craft it here and then add it to that email uh, or that folder that you just created. Once you have everything that you want in that folder, you're gonna go over here to the autopilot. This is where you're assembling all of the emails, all of the text, and putting them in sequential order by creating a new autopilot which is effectively is an email drip campaign or a text campaign or a mixture of the two if you're sending both text and emails so this is where you would go to create that automation or that autopilot or uh, drip campaign whatever you want to call it this is where you would go and do that so that would be the first thing that you would need to do and it's going to make the rest of it just go a lot smoother this would be the first place that you start in actually having that in place so you can come to the settings and then actually make the connections. In order to make the connections, you are gonna go down here, create a new source, and then I'm gonna say test Crowley, which Crowley is just a city. You're gonna go to edit and you're just gonna, you can, you can change the description, it's just a name. Just know that that's all it is. So I'm gonna create my lead source here that way I identify it every time I send a new automation or make a new connection. I'm coming here and starting with a brand new lead source. I'm gonna come over here to the lead distribution. I'm gonna add a new 
oops, I'm sorry. I'm going to go down here. And then I'm going to select Zapier because that is how I'm making the connection. So I'm going to add a new lead route. I'm going to go to, what did I name it? Test Crowley. And then it's asking me which drip campaign. So which uh, automation that we just created, which one do I want to draw upon? For this example, I'm just going to go to one that I already have connected, which would be Crowley New Construction Drip. Then I'm going to set individual. If you have a team, then you can do a, a round robin or rollout. Um, but that's if you have a team. For me, I'm just going to do individual. And I'm going to save that lead routing. If you have never done this, if this is the first time that you're doing this, you're going to go to third-party integrations and actually make that API connection. So it's a key on this end and a key over on Zapier. And they'll teach you or show you how to make that connection. You only need to, need to do it once. Outside of that, it's ready to go. So I only have Zapier and I have the uh, Facebook API. So <clears throat> those are the only two that I presently have. And again, I set this up once and this is something that I have never had to touch again. So these are the first two or the only two things that you would need to do in this, in this case. And let's just make sure it went through. You can edit again, but it's ready to go. Test Crowley, Crowley new construction drip. So I have what I need from LionDesk. Then I would go over to Facebook and create the lead campaign that I want to create. So I would go in and make that lead campaign again right here. You saw that lead generation campaign and then create a form that it's going to ask you to create. If this is the first time that you're making it, and again, there are other videos in this channel that will share how to create a lead generation campaign, but just trust that when you create this, there is no way for you to press send or submit your ad without having created a form. So there's no way for you to quote unquote, mess it up. All right, so once you've created this, you're, you're good to go. And then once you create this, you're good to go. Now all you need to do is make that connection. And in order to do that, you would go over to your Zapier account. I, I believe Zapier has a free account and there's a certain amount of zaps or tasks as what the, is essentially what they're doing or connections that they're doing. And I don't know exactly how many zaps or events you get free, but there are some free zaps that you can take advantage of if you're trying to try it out for the first uh, couple of times. But then you would be asked to get onto a paid plan. I'm not sure what it is right now because I have the I have the enterprise and paying for it right now on a yearly basis. So sorry, you, you, you're just going to have to go over to the website and, and figure that out. All right, so what we're doing now is we are going to connect Facebook. Once a new lead comes in, we can test it, but I know that it's going to work. Oops, let's move this real quick. Save and continue. Then the page, I'm just going to select. Um, which one am I going to select? I'm going to select that one. And then the form, again, you have already created your lead campaign and it's going to ask you to create a form, which you will find over here. And the one that I would want is this one. Continue. You can pull in samples if you want. In my experience, it rarely fails. And this one, I'm not sure if it has any right now. So I will go ahead and skip this step and it's going to gener auto generate one. We're going to continue. All right. Now that we've set up the Facebook side, now we need to create where do we want to connect it to? And we want to connect it to LionDesk. We want to create a new account, a new uh, contact. Test. It's going to say success. And then right here is where you start populating what you asked over in the lead form. So I'm going to go over here and put full name. Then we're going to do email over here. We're going to do the phone. And if you have some tags to tag them to, then you would select them right here. If however you're separating them in your LionDesk account is what you would go with. 
the contact source. This is what you created at the very beginning. So I named it test Crowley and it should populate right there. So remember, we came back to the settings and we started over here and created a source. And that's what it just asked us for. I'm going to skip test. Finish. We'll put test Crowley and then you would just flip the switch and you're done.